So we're taking a look here at the big, big, big exclusives coming to PS4 this year. Um, at the moment, obviously, it's slim pickings with things getting delayed, and we've only really had had Killzone and um, yeah, sorry, Knack. Oh yeah, Knack. As, as the main games. Oh, you've got stuff like Resogun on uh, on the download as well. But yeah, Resogun is amazing, but. You know, the big argument there is who's going to buy a game, who's going to buy a console for a seven quid download game, which is kind of fair enough. But it is Resogun, which is basically the best thing of all time. It is right good. Um, but probably the first of the uh, the next big exclusives is this a little game known as Drive Club, which was supposed to be there for launch, but didn't didn't I didn't see it? Did you? Uh, no, I think. It might have passed me by. Yeah. yeah. We've got delayed a little bit. So, again, probably already heard us talk about this elsewhere on the disc, but the delay has meant they've been tweaking frame rates, they've been polishing up the online infrastructure, they've been making that whole social game that they really want to make and making it everything it can be because right now we've no other real competition in this market. Like, they've got Need for Speed, I guess, a push, but that's a much more arcadey game. This is poised to be kind of the driving connoisseur's game of choice on on PS4, so they really want to make it everything it can be, which is which is fair enough. You know, delays for no reason, why? But delays when you've got a purpose, when the game is going to be better at the end of it, absolutely on board with that. I can wait an extra three months to play a much better game. It's interesting that Sony almost seem um, compelled um, or that they have to have a driving game. Uh, at launch because if you think back uh, you know PS3 had um, well it at least had a Ridge Racer yeah like uh, every other console ever yeah <laughs> PS2 had uh, Grand Series Mike 3 shortly after launch um, you know people are so kind of Gran Turismo is the PlayStation exclusive racer yeah you know um, and so I think a lot of people would have expected a Gran Turismo game to to be if not launch a uh, shortly after launch game for the PS4. Yeah. Obviously Gran Turismo 6 is not on the PS4. So I wonder if perhaps they you know, I don't want to say Drive Club's uh, oh it's a replacement for Gran Turismo, but you know, I think if they were looking at their launch lineup and they're like there's a big hole under the racing game category. Yeah. We need to invent something else. And in a way that's good because by creating an entirely new game They've, you know, managed to make use of these features, the the social features yeah, and yeah. stuff, that that are, you know are really making use of the PS4 and and the tech and the the social stuff. Uh, I don't know how much of a big part it will play in the game. You know, like whether it will be the be all and end all. And what I played, it's pretty cool. You know, you just get these little challenges popping yeah. up, like oh, power slide round this corner, see if you beat your mate's score. Uh, or, you know, kind of tracking your average speed, uh, going down a straight. It, we've kind of seen similar things in uh, Need for Speed Rivals, actually. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, it, it looks really interesting. And I think if they can push the actual club side of it, um, the, you know, it's just kind of like clans almost uh, in an MMO, mm. you know. If they can push that side of it and kind of... I mean, not everyone's going to have four or five, six mates playing this game. No. Um, so if they can kind of find a way to bring players together yeah I mean Need for Speed already does that really well to be fair like it's got all the recommendation stuff through through Autolog and through Friends of Friends like if you've got someone on your friend list who doesn't play it but on their friend list like 20 people play it then the game will recommend them to you kind of push the two of you together like hang on you should be friends with this guy he likes the same sort of races as you he likes the same cars as you so yeah it's not a difficult feature to implement clearly because there are other games already doing it it's just a case of whether they'll do it or not yeah i i remember ssx did that as well mm, really well right, yeah yeah i ended up with loads more friends after ssx so clearly ea have got it down yeah so what sony what you need to be doing right now is copying ea's <laughs> friend system copying ea who'd have thought that'd be a yeah just just you know don't don't kind of mosey about it just be shameless yeah. Just go in there and copy it wholeheartedly <laughs> because it's good and it works. Yeah, um, but no, I think you're right about them needing another racing IP as well. I think it's dangerous for them to rest on just having Gran Turismo as that one racer. And they did really well with that on PS3 by having Motorstorm as your kind of your backup, your arcade racer. So you have your Motorstorm comes out, then get some GT later on, then 
get another motor store. It, it works, you know. I mean, Microsoft are doing the same thing with Forza, although they're keeping the Forza brand across it. So you've got the main series games and then like Horizon, which is a much more arcadey thing. But yeah, I think there's a lot to be said for having these two different brands because then going forward, they can just kind of bounce off each other and alternate them year on year. And we're just going to see better games at the end of it.